Hey guys, welcome back. For today's video tutorial, I'm gonna work on a new sensor that is MME7455. We have been working on different sensors, digital sensors, and this is a new sensor which we're gonna work today. And to gain more knowledge about this sensor, let's have a look over this sensor. For that, we have to log on to the website www.controleverything.com and here we have to search for this particular sensor that you can see and here let's have a look over that and see what we got for this particular sensor and we got that MMA7455 is a 3 axis low G, low gravitational uh, digital output accelerometer as you can see these are some of its features and please have a look over that and you can also purchase this sensor from here now let's have a look over the interfacing of the sensor MMA7455 which I will be taking on later. So for that uh, I will be requiring a Raspberry Pi and a Python code for that. So this is the Python code sample I am talking about. You can download the Python code sample as a demo file from here also as you can see. Now you can also have the opportunity to download the code from GitHub repository that is control everything community. Now what we require is some hardware so that we can put it together to make some connections and let's see how it works. Now this here is our sensor that is 3 axis digital output accelerometer MMA7455. Now what we require is this a Raspberry Pi. Now these are the GPI pins of our Raspberry Pi. Now the problem is to make a connection among the sensor and the Raspberry Pi and make this connection with other I2C devices also and make the connection a lot easier along with the probable factor so what we require is an i2c shield so make this connection and gently place over the i2c shield over the gpi pins of the raspberry pi as a matter of fact this i2c shield also available on the website control or everything.com now we want to make a connection among the sensor and the i2c shield and here comes the connecting cable now make this connection and while making the connection make sure that the ground wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and similarly we have to follow this rule for i2c shield also now we need to power up our raspberry pi and here comes a micro usb cable into the picture now gently process it over the power jack and gently insert it there and light it up so we are done with this connection Finally, we have to make an internet connection and we have two ways to make that. First, this is an ethernet cable as you can see on my screen. Now, gently insert it over the ethernet jack. In case if you don't have this, you can also have the opportunity to use a wireless nano adapter for Wi-Fi connection and this might save your day also. So we are done with the hardware connections we require for the interfacing. Let's have a look over the code. Now we need to have a look over the python code so that we can interface the sensor and along with the Raspberry Pi. So first of all we have to log in to github.com and here we have to search for the repository that is control everything community. Now let's have a look over that and let's move forward. Here search for the sensor MMA 7455 and here we get this sensor and this is the python code we will look to explore. Now let's have a look over the instructions for the python we have to download and install the smbus library on the raspberry pi and this is the link as you can see let's have a go through over this link so as you can see all the relevant informations are being provided dependencies relevant commands so that we can install all the libraries for smbus so please do it carefully now this is the command to run the python code now get back to the code as we need to have a look over that it's a .py extension file as you can see now first of all we have imported smbus and time libraries and we have address of the sensor that is 0x1 now for the writing part we have selected mode control register that is 0x16 along with the command that is measurement mode plus minus ag that comprises of 0x01 now this is the writing part of that Let's have a time dot sleep for 0.5 seconds, which will allow us to settle down the sensor so that it can read the command that has been commanded. So this is the address of the sensor as we have already discussed. Now here we are reading six bytes of data along with the x, y, and z axis of acceleration. Now here conversion of the data takes place according to the data sheet 
we have seen right for MMA 7 for double five. So it's being converted here. After the conversion part, at the very end of our code, we have the acceleration data to be displayed on the screen in the form of x, y, and z axis, which comprises of the raw values for the data. Now it's being formatted and very generalized code is there as you can notice. Now what we require is to show the practicality of this code. So let's see the working. Now for the interesting part, first of all copy this entire python code. Now as we are done, open up the terminal for the Raspberry Pi, here create a new file with .py extension for the python and here paste the entire code and save it. Now this is the command to run the code as we can notice and here we go. As you can see the sensor is almost stable and the value is being displayed in the form of x, y and z axis for acceleration. Now when I try to rotate and send the command, there is a change in x, y and z axis for the acceleration data. Now when I am trying to continue rotate the sensor and move forward and backward, right and in the left direction, all the directions. The continuous change is being monitored on the screen as well as you can notice that. So this is how the python code works with the sensor. Now let's have a look over the benefits and applications and the features of the sensor that is 3 directional 3 axis digital output accelerometer MMS7455. So we are done with the working of the sensor MMS7455. Let me tell you. MMA7455L is a digital output, low power, low profile, capacitive, micro machined accelerometer featuring signal conditioning, a low pass filter, temperature compensation, self test, configurable to detect 0G through interrupt pins, and a pulse detect for quick motion detection. So, these features make it very important for a lot of applications like cell phone. PMP, PDA, image stability, text troll, free fall detection, pedometer, motion sensing and a lot more. This sensor can be purchased from the website controleverything.com and the relevant code is also available on the same site. You go to the source tab and here comes the sensor code. Now you can also get the code from github repository that is control everything community. So at the end of this, I just want to make it clear that in case of any further queries regarding any part of this sensor or any video part, you can contact me on controleverything.com and you can post your comments on the community page of this website. Now for articles and blogs which are relevant to this video, you can have a go through look over instructables.com and to subscribe more video tutorials which are coming through and for this video tutorial you can also subscribe on to our youtube channel so at the very end of this i hope you enjoyed this video and yourself have a good one thanks a lot for watching